you motherfuckers, it's your boy Blaze Dev here, and uh, I'm going to be following up with the trend that I've been doing a little bit lately and not posting a gaming video because your boy is stupid. Uh, my computer's been glitching out and it's been having a real hard time trying to do a gaming video while I'm uploading a video, so I've been trying to give a little break since I'm uploading a video today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be bleaching and dyeing my hair, which is, um, totally a smart thing to do, right? So I can still cosplay Sangwoo. Cosplayed him once so far. Also, just look at that glorious mess right there. Just gonna, hold on, it's not all, just, that's better, that actually kind of looks good. It reminds me of like early 2000s Corbin Blue. Like straight out of <laughs> high school musical shit right there. Anyway, this is gonna be a weird filming style for me and I hate it. Got what I need right here. I got my, my gloves, got my bleach powder, got my developer. It's a 20%, 20 volume because I have learned the hard way not to overprocess my hair. <laughs> and yes, you can overprocess your hair by using the wrong developer level. Very, very quickly. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> because um, my hair was super thick and curly, kind of. It's kind of greasy and knotted right now, so it's not really curling up, but you can still see a lot of the curl in it. Like, it's curly by white person standards, you know? You feel... <clears throat> Sorry, I still got some of that spit in my throat. <clears> throat. Um, but it's curly by white person standards, you know? Okay. So... I'm going to start by mixing the thing. And I just have a glass leftover container here because I'm too lazy to actually buy myself a uh, mixing bowl from Sally's. But everything else I get comes from Sally's except for this. This is shot glass with measurements on it. Because we're that household that has one of these. I can't remember the right ratio. Give me a minute. So it's six scoops of the powder, and five fluid ounces of developer, right? I've also learned the hard way, because I've only ever had my hair dyed by a professional once, and that was when it was purple, like forever ago. I don't know that I even have any pictures, um, because the purple faded so quickly like, I'm not even shitting you, it didn't even last two weeks. Ooh, that dye was bad. Which was upsetting, because it was like a really nice grape kind of purple, and I loved it. But, mm, yay, didn't work out for me. So, I've never done purple again. Um, until maybe now, I didn't pull out my dye. <laughs> because that was going to come later, but... I still haven't decided. I'm either going to, I'm going to do one of these three colors, which yes, this looks like a pink, but it's actually a purple. It's it's a pastel lilac, so it's like a pinky purple. It's weird, but it's blue, purpley pink, whatever, or green. Mind you, the green has been opened before. I have had my hair green before, and I love it. But I really like how I look with the blue hair. I might end up doing something I've never done before and giving myself highlights of green in with the blue. We'll see how I'm feeling after I bleach it and blow dry it and have everything done. Because I'm feeling the purpley pink, but maybe not. Alright, so time to mix. I am using Clairol Professional BW2. That is the bleach powder. It says six level scoops. And that's for a full head of hair, yes. Mind you, 
I have very thick hair. So one batch of this is all it takes to do my hair. Which one batch of this is meant to do a full head of normal hair. That's three. Also, it says de-dusted, but whenever something says, whenever bleach powder says de-dusted, it's a full face goddamn lie. Shit is dusty. Like, I know you can't really see it on camera, but shit flying all around me. And the developer I'm using is Salon Care Professional 20 Volume Cream. So I need to get to five ounces, so it's five of these. One, two, three. Mind you, this is roughly five ounces. Four and five. Because some of it does stay in the cup. See, it's cloudy. I also like to do this in, like, in my sink. So I can just rinse it. Alright. Now I have my brush that I also got from Sally's. It's cute. Mix it with the pinky end. Alright. So my bleach is now all mixed up. It's easier if you have the little clippy things to section your hair, but I don't. Never do. I just take my crusty ass damn comb that I got from Dollar Tree like 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not even 20 yet. <laughs> I am a child. Not actually. <laughs> I am an adult. Just barely. <laughs> oh, this is a look. <laughs> Never wearing this out in public, but it's a look. Oh yeah, and in case you couldn't tell, from any of my other videos where I'm screaming and proclaiming my sexuality. I'm kinda gay. Okay? Okay. Because you're gonna be hearing, oh, that's a look a lot. Because <laughs> even when I'm doing this just on my own, I do that. Yeah, it's a, it's bad. All right. Also, I don't always, <laughs> Y'all are gonna get real tired of this shit because you're gonna see me switching from the brush to my hands. What you're supposed to do is you start the ends and then you work your way down to the scalp at the end. Because the uh, the base the root of your hair, not your actual scalp. Don't bleach your scalp. Don't bleach your scalp, kids. Anyway, you work your way down to the root of your hair because the heat from your scalp helps it develop quicker, or process quicker, which can damage your hair if you start at, like, root. So, just gonna clean off the rest of the end of this brush. And honestly, I only use the brush for the roots. So, dig in. Mind you, you're gonna see a lot of breakage and shit probably from my hair because I already have extremely processed hair, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I knew what I was getting into. Alright, top of my hair is done. Now to get down and dirty in those goddamn roots. Make sure I got all of the powder mixed up because I'm at the bottom of this almost. See, I told you, my hair takes up a lot of bleach, right? All right, every little bit of my hair, I think. Feels like it, every little bit is covered, ready. All right, I'll be back in about 30 minutes. By that I mean about an hour. By the time my hair is done processing, washed, and rinsed and everything. Alright. Alright. I'll see you then. 
Alright, so I'm back. My hair has been washed. I put some oil in it. Um, <laughs> my hair never processes evenly. That's something that you gotta, gotta understand for this because um, it doesn't matter if I get it everywhere or not. It won't process evenly. Right? See all those dark spots that are still my hair? Like, my roots on the top of my head tend to do a little bit better. But like, once you get to the shaved bits, yeah, out of luck, bitch. Sorry, sweetheart. But I also have natural red highlights in my hair, so that gets me into a little bit of trouble. Cause like, we got white down at the tip where it's overprocessed and breaking, but I knew that was gonna happen. And then we got this orange, this nice orange color in just the front of my hair. <laughs> because like, look, it's nowhere else. It just gets to like a golden yellow, but in the front you get this bright, like pinky orange. All right, I'm gonna brush my hair or comb it, try to get out uh, most of that breakage. Cause tomorrow I'm getting it cut anyway. That'll be good. Just brush, comb, fuck. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's only like two. Actually, it's like three now, but whatever. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that nasty ass shit right there. It's all white. Like straight up white. Like, there is literally no possible way to get my hair, which is a dark, dark ass brown that you can still see spots of like here and all down here, to light without having a shit ton of breakage. All right, but that's, my hair's all come through and my dumbass forgot my blow dryer. I'll be back. That's better. And I'm back with a blow dryer. Just gotta plug this bitch in. I did moisturize my hair because I do that every time I get out of the shower without fail. But normally if I'm like just washing my hair in like normal shit, <laughs> not bleaching it, I use this. Uh, it's a 10. This bottle was like 30 bucks. It's expensive as hell, but it's a miracle. But uh, this time I just used my Maui Moisture uh, Strength and Anti-Breakage with honey. It's a bunch of raw oils. Here, let me go to the ingredients. Sesame seed oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil. That's a chemical. That's chemical honey hibiscus seed oil pineapple extract um aloe leaf juice and water it's really good it's super moisturizing i normally use both of these when i normally do my hair but like for this i'm not wasting the rest of that because I'm doing that at the end. Alright. I gotta put it on warm and low. Actually, high. Okay. So, my hair is lightly dry. By that, I mean the roots are dry and the ends are almost they're still a little wet still breaking don't worry that's what i have the comb here for it's so much worse when it's pre pretty much dry because it doesn't stick together as much wow i can make my hair pretty damn straight with a blow dryer maybe i should start blow drying my hair more often I never blow dry my hair. Also, I'm giving you some, I'm serving you some, oh shit, 
what was his name? Jonathan something. 90s boy, like, he wasn't a boy band star. Like, he had, he was his own band. Jonathan, no, uh, not Aaron Carter. What was, it was Jonathan something. Now I'm serving you some Prince Charming from Shrek Look right here. Alright, get your ass back up there. Give me my cloth back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right here. This is what you come to my channel for. Not video games. Not card games. Not any kind of games. That's not what you want from me. No. You want this ugly ass mess. Okay, so um... I am going to make sure that my bowl is dry. And I'm going to... Nope, I don't want the purple. <laughs> I decided on blue, and I might add some green into it. Depending on how I feel. So, I'm going to go with midnight blue. This is the only time I've actually gone blue blue. Both other times I've gone blue, they were like a green undertone blue, but this is like a very, very blue blue. You know? Yeah, no. I'm bad at describing things, as you should know by now, because I describe a lot of shit when I'm try like trying to compare video games. Oh, that's fun. Let me just clean out my comb. Nasty ass shit. Ugh. Good thing I get to have all that trimmed off. And... Alright, so I, I've used a bunch of other colors from this brand. The only color that I've tried that hasn't worked out um, was the pink. Uh, it was like bubblegum pink or whatever. And it did not last as long as any of the other colors. Don't know what I was doing differently. Don't know what was going on. Before I do that, let me... Um, I've also tried the chrome and that didn't really work out for me. But that's because I was trying to do a patina color, so I was mixing the green in with the chrome. And, um, yeah, no, what you- <laughs> I learned after that experience to basically treat the green as a rinse afterwards. Like, you dye your hair with the chrome, right? And instead of doing, like, a bleach rinse- oh no, bad phone. Um, and instead of doing like a bleach rinse, you do a rinse with the green. So by that I mean you scrub it into your hair, leave it in for like five minutes, and wash it out. So you have like a green tint, kind of. It's like, it's like you'd be using a toner, right? Yeah, that kind of makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you guys. Alright, so... We're going to glove back up. Different set of gloves. I'm, again, cheap. Bought it from Sally's. Salon Care Professionals Medium Black Vinyl Gloves in a box of 100. Yes. Your boy is dyeing his hair. My mom's gonna come home and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> shrug. I don't remember how long to leave this in. Alright. Oh, uh... uh, look at that. That's beautiful. 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 That would be, like, if I wanted to do, like, a wash, I would just now it's covered in broken pieces! <laughs> you know what? Fuck the brush. My tried and true method is just go in with my hands. So you know what? I am going to go in with my hands. Alright guys, 
So it's now on my head. I'm going to set a timer for 45 minutes and then wash it up and I'll be right back and we'll see if I have to do it again. All right, I'll be back. Okay, well, I'm back and this is it. I can't do any more because I'm running out of time. I didn't realize how late it was when I started this. Oh my God, I did it again. There we go. All right. I didn't realize how late it was when I started this. Oh, so, here we go. Here is my completely and totally over-processed, broken, broken, breaking off, dead hair. Like, I like the weird effect that's going on on the back of my head. Like, from what I can see, because the dark part took the blue, but some of the blonde on the edges didn't. Alright. Let me go ahead and put some product in my hair and style it. I don't style it. I... Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's nasty. But I'm gonna wait till it dries to do that. So, it's blue now. I'm a blue boy. I really like uh, blue because it really kind of like accents the <laughs> olive undertones in my skin. Sorry, I thought I saw a straight can. Um, blue really accents the, uh, all the undertones in my skin and it makes me look really good. Makes me look less white. That's the key. Uh, or I could just do this. This is fine. I'm actually here for this. Like, hello. Maybe I don't shave my sides. Also, this blue is far too dark to do, uh, Lars with anymore, so. Oh well. Alright, so, turned out better than I thought. This is actually the most breakage I've ever had to deal with, dear god. Good thing I'm getting it cut tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> Alright, uh, please watch, please like, please subscribe, and thanks for supporting your local friendly trash pile, even though this isn't the content you subscribe for. Bye. <laughs>